Hey guys, it's Karima and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my all day laundry routine and no, I don't recommend it, but if you find yourself in this position where you haven't done laundry in a couple of weeks and you are very backed up, don't worry sis, we're gonna get through this together. So here is a view of all the laundry that I tossed over the balcony and all of that laundry is just mine. I still have to add my kids. This is my son's laundry. He also has a basket downstairs in the laundry room. So yeah, we have lots of laundry to do. We also have to do Chloe's laundry and the towels. So it's gonna be one of these crazy laundry days again. Kingston's laundry, Chloe's laundry is not even down here. Clean laundry that needs to go up. More clean laundry that needs to be folded. And some more clean laundry that needs to be folded and put away. Oh, but I am not done. Dirty towels, hand towels, kitchen stuff, cleaning towels. Lots of laundry. More towels. And a few full bins here. So we have a very full laundry day. So I'm just going to get started because as you can already tell, it's going to be a long day. So I did a little sorting off camera. All the things to the right of the screen is not sorted yet, but my load was already full. So I'm going to have to make multiple loads. That's how much laundry I had. I like to put my bras in the garment bags. I also put my sports bras in there as well because they have thin padding on the inside and they come out when you just wash them in the washing machine so I stuff them in a bag just in case they come out at least they're all together. I hate to be repetitive but I get this question all the time. The clear liquid in the bottle was vinegar. I use it as a fabric softener. I'm using some laundry sanitizer because I have a lot of workout clothes in this load. I use Tide free and clear laundry pods and I also use the 7th generation liquid for large or small loads. This video is probably going to be a little more chatty than I usually do, but I get a lot of questions when I do laundry videos like these. You actually won't believe some of the comments I get on these type of videos. People just can't believe how I let my laundry get this bag or why we have so many clothes. I honestly don't think we have a ton of clothes. I know it looks like a lot when none of the laundry is done, but we are a family of four. It usually includes towels, kitchen towels, cleaning cloths, sheets, all types of things in these loads. So it's not just our clothes. And a lot of time it's everything we own when I get so bad. I try to keep up as best I can. And sometimes when I just can't, this is what happens. So this first load was already clean. I'm just showing Chloe because people say they don't see her much. But Chloe likes to be really comfortable at home. And I'm just not going to put her on camera when she's not dressed appropriately. Today she had on shorts so it was okay. This is her tops drawer. Chloe, I'm still working on her and teaching her to keep her things a little more organized, but I understand I was like that at my age. I mean, at her age, excuse me. So I'm just going to refold the things in her drawer so I can pack up everything nice and neatly the way I like it. I did get those drawer organizers from Ikea. I love them. It just kind of really... It works well for my mind and it's great for this KonMari folding system. So, 
So here's what it looks like after everything is folded. She still has a few shirts in the dirty clothes, so I will get that in there after they're washed. I'm moving on now to her bottom drawer. These are supposed to be her skirts and her shorts, but she threw all her gymnastic and dance clothes in there too. So I am going to just fold everything up and show you guys the after shots. So the first load that we put in is done. I'm going to throw those clothes in the dryer. I'm going to hang whatever needs to be hung and start another load. So I like to hang all my bras and bathing suits to preserve the quality of it. They can be put in the dryer, but I feel like they last a lot longer when you hang dry them. So at this point, you guys, I'm sweating. I know it looks like I did one load to you on camera, but of course I can't include everything, so I'm gonna rehydrate and keep going. So I decided to put down a beach towel and fold on the floor. I usually fold clothes on my couch, but the couch already had its own set of clothes that needed to be folded from a previous wash. And there was just stuff all over the living room. So I needed to make my own little island and sit down and fold these clothes.
so because this load was a larger load I am going to be using the seventh generation liquid detergent I like to use that for large loads because I don't want to use five and six pods I really don't know how many pods is enough for large loads so I just use the liquid So I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what it was looking like for me, what I was surrounded by. I really felt like I was being swallowed up by clothes, but it's okay. We dedicated this day to get this laundry done. We are going to do it. If you have a mountain of laundry, let's get it done. Now, I don't think my kids have too much clothes. I mean, honestly, they have maybe about two and a half weeks worth of clothes if I didn't wash at all. But they do have way too much underwear. As I was folding Kingston's laundry, I could not believe how many pairs of underwear he has. And the same thing for Chloe, the same thing for me. I don't know what it is. Well, I guess it's the fact that I know I don't love doing laundry. And the one thing I don't want to run out of is underwear. So I do that for my children. It's a bad habit. I have to get better because there's no reason why one four-year-old boy needs this many pairs of underwear. So now it's time to put Kingston's clothes away. I just pulled his drawer organizers out so I could just stack them. They needed to be reorganized. I wanted to get rid of stuff. So I pulled them out so that you guys can have a good view as I reorganize. If you want details on how much these cubes cost, I will link the video below where I got them. It has all the details and prices and everything because I just don't remember. I do know I got them from Ikea and they were affordable. But I don't remember all the individual prices. Check out that video in the description box if you need prices. So I keep all of his clothes in this organizer here, but for some reason I couldn't remember how I had his shorts folded so they would all fit. But don't worry, I got it together. I really love these drawer organization systems. It just keeps things really neat and organized and simple for my children or my husband to get their clothes and dress the kids. Kingston can actually climb on his bed and get into this top drawer to get a t-shirt because he knows these are like his sleep shirts. We got underwear. 
here and all of these are from Ikea I did a video on these drawer organizers so if you want prices and things like that I will link them down below so you can see that video but his underwear his socks and his like undershirts and sleep shirts pajamas this is his summer drawer so all of his t-shirts all of his shorts I know it seems like my kids have a whole lot of clothes but they really don't this is pretty much all of their clothes all, all of Kingston's clothes it just seems like a lot because well he does have a lot of t-shirts I'll admit that this is a lot of t-shirts but these are literally all of his t-shirts except maybe three or four the one he's wearing today the one he has in his backpack um, that we put for a change of clothes it may be one that may be in the hamper from yesterday but this is all of his summer shirts his t-shirts and all of his shorts pretty much except the one he's wearing today so I don't have to like switch out his clothes for seasons this is the summer drawer all his summer clothes are in here and that's that this is his winter drawer um, all his long sleeve shirts so we just don't go in this drawer right now because it's so hot it needs to be organized but I'll do that later when I need to see what still fits him for this winter and what I need to get rid of but all of his long sleeve shirts are in this drawer and I hang up his long pants in his closet and that's pretty much it this is all my baby's clothes um, in this drawer we keep um, t-shirts like things he can paint in so messy clothes uh, stuff to wear in the sand stuff to paint I don't know why this is in here this little cube here is for his swimsuits. So let's do his swimsuits now. you know I like to keep it all the way real with you guys I got all of that laundry done it is very late at night I wasn't doing it all day of course I took a break fed my kids ate hung out all of that good stuff but all of that laundry was done and the only reason why you didn't see me put away my clothes is because my clothes my clothes are right here um I'm, I'm done I'm beat that laundry took me out. I'm not even going to show myself on camera right now because I look a hot mess. This took me out. So everything is done. I did the towels. The only thing that needs to be done are sheets. But that can be like, I can be back on a routine now. I'm going to give myself like a day or two to kind of get, you know, to recover from all of this. And then I'll have sheet day and then I'll go back to doing like, my my clothes on one day the kids on a separate day and my husband likes to do his own laundry so this will get put up i'm sorry i was trying to show you how i put away all the things in this video but i can't do it i am beat this is the devil and i'm i can't so i will see you guys in the next video and i love you guys i'll see you soon